Hey guys, welcome back to All Around LEGO, and today we'll be reviewing LEGO Set 75345, or the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Let's get into it. To start this review off, we'll go over some particulars first. This set costs $20. As of now, it has 119 pieces, and it was released January 1st, 2023, and it is yet to retire. For the actual set itself, we'll go over minifigures from left to right. First off, we have this 501st Officer. It looks really nice. It has the blue belt instead of the normal white belt on the original 501st Troopers. It's also got a printed waist cape. I wish that they would make a cloth version for these, but this one doesn't look terrible. And then on the back, the, the blue part of the armor is, or the white part of the armor is now blue. For the helmet, same helmet, just with helmet holes, and he has an antenna. His firearm is a uh, pistol blaster. My favorite figure of the bunch, or the specialist trooper, is up next. He has the same long rifle that we saw on the jetpack troopers in the original 501st set. The macro binoculars look amazing. They fold down on his helmet. Same helmet, just with helmet holes. It's really nice. do wish there's a little black part here. A little black strip, but it's okay. And it looks good regardless. Same clone face that we've been used to for the past bit. Blue arms, same torso, just with uh, yellow markings there. Back is the same otherwise also. The heavy troopers, you get two of them. Come with a uh, custom blaster, which is nice. For their helmet, they have the visors that can go down on a helmet with actually deeper it has it's hard to see because the camera's not focusing but it has dark blue lines there which is amazing can't get it to focus though anyway that's really cool and then for the back you get a republic uh backpack really nice there and then you have the ammo belt on the torso as you can see with the little silver shining there and like I said before, you get two of these figures. For the build itself, you get a cannon similar to the AV-7 cannon, just like major downscaled. So it would be kind of nice if we got a remake of that. As you can see, based off that, it can move up and down. has a spring-loaded shooter. It's really easy to load it in, just like that, and then to push it down, you go like that. For the base, you got movable legs. They have a really nice design on the ground. They are, they are flat and they look really nice. So you can make your like cannon like that or any way you want it to be, which is nice. I prefer to have it like with an open feel of view as it does in the set. It looks really nice. It has moving maneuverability. It has a translucent piece on the bottom to help it out. You got an area where your heavy trooper can sit and fire the cannon, which is really nice. Fits in there perfectly. He's about as tall as the cannon, which is uh, not an issue here, but I do wish that they made a cannon slightly bigger for that reference. The piece juts out here so you can sit down as I've shown you. The base of the cannon, really nice. It, it's like slick. I really like how it has the fins in the back that kind of make it like feel as if it were like actually sharp and pointy and it's not as for the actual main gun itself it's really nice it kind of looks like a, a missile if you take this part out like or if you imagine it as fun really nice i really like this um this uh hand piece i i think it adds a lot to the set and then you also got these pieces here that like make it look a thin and then look a little thinner and then at the end, I really like how this piece is used for like the end part of the cannon. It looks really nice. And it goes in just like that, really easy, really nice. I also like how you have like armor buffers here and then like some maroon dotted around. It's a really nice set. And then the spikes on the thing round it off and make it amazing. Thanks for watching. This set's amazing, obviously. Uh, I'll have a comparison out comparing um, the 501st Battle Pack soon, and we'll find out which one's crowned champion. But otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time in All Around Lego.